is Saturday the day before Easter and I am so tired I just got off work it was a very long long day um, I had to talk to the manager about an associate that keeps bugging me and it was just you know I'd rather talk to them before you know things get out of hand because I've already had issues from my other jobs and you know I just wanted to nip it in the butt so it was already a long day from that then I got behind on my work it was so busy and I'm just <sighs> I'm tired it's like six something right now then I feel so bad but I waited last minute this year to get his Easter baskets and usually I'm really good about getting the baskets early but <laughs> so at my work like we were wiped out of baskets I went to Target because I'm like you know Target has everything so of course they're gonna have baskets they did not have a damn thing they didn't even have plastic eggs they had nothing so they didn't have plastic eggs they didn't have anything <laughs> I'm like texting Walter like I'm gonna be in tears if I can't get my kids an Easter basket because Grayson for whatever reason I think it's because of Bluey he loves Easter and he loves finding the eggs and opening the baskets and all that stuff so I was like I'm gonna be in tears if I can't get him a damn basket so I drove to Target they had nothing and then I'm like okay who else has baskets <laughs> like you know I don't even know who has baskets the one thing I did find at Target was um these eggs like a huge mess look at girl life mess everywhere food baskets chocolate so they did have these little chocolate eggs in the bullseye area which thank god because i found plastic eggs at my work then went to target got the chocolate eggs to put those eggs and those eggs and then i went to where i live it's the like desert area so it's not really like sorry for the sun it's like bothering me for some reason it's not like very populated where i'm at i'm like in the city but not in the city if it's hard to explain anyway i'm in the desert not that many people live out here so i was like what if i go to my local ride aid so on the way home i called them and i'm like do you guys have any Easter baskets? And she's like, oh yeah, we have so many. And I was like, oh my God, thank you. <laughs> because as a mom, like, dude, I was no joke gonna be in tears because I, you know, you wanna provide for your kids and I just, uh, I can't, I don't, I already have to work all day tomorrow. I can't even be with my kids for Easter. And then it's like, now I'm gonna be a disappointment because I can't find a freaking Easter basket for him. So, I drove all the way, well, not all the way because it's by my house. I forgot to film because I was just like in the headspace of just get a freaking basket. But they had two aisles. So like one aisle on your left and one aisle, you know, one aisle, two things. Full of Easter stuff. I mean, full of Easter stuff. They had eggs, they had chocolate eggs, they had a million freaking baskets, they had bunnies, they had chicks, they had everything, they had everything. And like in that moment, I was like, ah, mommy did her job. So anyways, real quick, I got Grayson this one and it has like monster trucks and like fun dip and all that. And I got him a basic basket because my mom is coming this weekend and her and my sister already got Grayson baskets. So Grayson's already gonna have like three freaking baskets full of toys, I'm sure. And so I'm like, you know, let me get him a regular basic one that he can still play at home and, you know, and some candy too in moderation. So I got him that one. And then for Sophia, you notice they really never, they don't have baby friendly baskets. I mean, not like babies. I mean, they can play and stuff, but they don't really have baby friendly baskets. So I decided to make hers. So I got this cute little chick. It was like only $4. Everything was discounted, which was lovely. So... Um, that was only four dollars. The only thing that was really expensive was this guy and it's a really cute like the Scout collection and it's a remote because Sophie has she's like kind of a klepto and she takes everything which you know babies do and she takes the TV remote and then she hides it behind pillows or she'll take it on the floor and then she'll like play the buttons and I'm like what the heck I'm looking at the TV like who's changing it and then I see Sophie in the corner like playing with the freaking remote so got her her own remote. So I got her that and then I got her, of course, can't have, you know, a little bunny. And then she can't eat 
I mean, I don't give her candy. I know, you know, some people do and that's fine. I'll give her like little pieces of chocolate here and there. So if anything, I'm probably just gonna give her a big bowl of strawberries because that girl loves strawberries, but you know, they don't really have baby friendly baskets. Anyway, mom goal, I mean, well, I'm just, I'm excited. I'm happy, like as a mom, from a mom's point of view, cause this is what this channel is all about. It's just, it's a nerve wracking. We can't get your kids what they want because obviously your kids are your everything as a mom it's like you don't want to fail your kids you want to give your kids the best of everything and like i strive to be that mom like i just want to make my kids happy and i want them to have what they need and what they want and not spoil wise like i want them to be humble and grateful for what they have but i also didn't want to get him the big freaking basket because i know damn well my mom's gonna already spoil him with all the toys that i you know there's just a lot of toys. Right now I'm in line to get dinner. So I'm at our foster freeze. I don't know if they have foster freeze where you're at, but I love foster freeze. So I'm in the line, gonna get dinner, head home and see what they're up to. Good morning guys, happy Easter. I am on my way to work cause sadly I have to work today, but I'm gonna see if I could leave early. But anyway, we gave the kids a basket this morning. They loved it, thank goodness. So. I'm gonna get ready to go inside and see what I have to do to leave early and I'm already late. So I'm already off to a good start. Yesterday I bought Easter eggs. So today I'm gonna put it in our front yard and let the kids go look for the eggs cause I was able to get off work, oh, thank God. So I got off early, so I'm just going to throw them around our front yard so that way, you know, Sophie can kind of run free and, you know, help with a hunt. Good big brother. Good job, Mama. Put it in your basket. Whoa! Look at those eggs. There's three. Oh wow! Both of your webbing. I get it. Oh, hey, Mama. Put them in here. Easter eggs everywhere. The other day, Walter was telling me a story about his zebra duck egg. Zebra duck. Don't ask. It was a zebra duck, and I got eggs that look like zebras just because it reminded me of him. <laughs> Do you see them? We put them there. I should have just let Daddy do it. <laughs> Mommy Easter Bunny didn't do such a good job. <laughs> Always like. Look at that. If I didn't have to work today, we probably would have ended up taking them at the park. But I'm just glad to be even off early. So we redid the living room like the day before yesterday. Or last week, something like that. But Sophie is too, she's wild now. She wants to go out and be free. So we decided to put the gate over there now and, you know, let her maneuver about. And she naps in there, which is great. And then we have the tent, and he is in there with all two of the kids. I'm so happy when you talk to me like this. Are you comfortable in there, babe? No. You want to give a thumbs up? Daddy did a toe up. Grayson did it. I don't even see Sophie in there, like at all. But that's the table that I got from Amazon. The letters ended up falling from the wall. I needed an adhesive that I could put on the wall that doesn't damage the paint, but like 
okay. you know, mm -hmm. holds the letters, but I do want to put the letters control. back up there because it helps them learn. And then we have the cat tree over there that we also got from Amazon. We are still right. waiting for our cat. And then on this side, I got this from Target and I got these little bookshelves, like these cubbies from Target too. I love, 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 love the way it came out. Everything matches and I have all of their toys in each cubby and it's, I just love it because first of all, I don't have that ugly thing that's still right there. I need to throw it in the trash, but that thing, first of all, it broke. And the cubbies with the toys displayed, like it just, it was really ugly. I like a nice clean living room when it can be clean. Obviously there's toys everywhere, but at the end of the day, when we put the toys away and they go in the cubbies, then it makes me happy that I don't see them. And then we have books in the middle. So we're reading the books in the middle. I have the toys, everything matches. We got baby girls stuff right there. And it's just nice and you know, just, more room, more room for the kids. Okay,